Dang, it's pretty up here. I glassed a whole bunch of deer down in these draws, but... Nice! Oh my gosh! That thing is heavy! Dang, that's the best elk pickup of the weekend. Dude! In the circle. Getting ready to go on another adventure. But this is the new G1X we're gonna use. Look at this. What? Finally, back in the mountains. And uh, out here for a little hiking, a little shed hunt. My buddy Kyler, say what's up. What's up guys? We are not in Utah, just to clarify that. So tell me, Kyler, what's your goals? Try to pick up more sheds than Eric once again. I mean, <laughs> it's always fun to kind of set a standard. I'm gonna, for today, my goal is just to find, well, I said I'd hoping to find three sheds on this hike, and the goal for the weekend is just to find a brown deer shed. That would be sweet. So we're just gonna uh, walk through this wash and literally just wander around and glass and try to pick up some sheds, but I'm just happy to be out here. It's nice and sunny, it's a little deceiving. It's freezing cold, literally. It's probably 30 degrees, but it's supposed to warm up to about 36 by the end of the day. So, uh, there's wild horses out here. There's one right in front of me. Really pretty white one. Let's sneak up on it and show you guys. Look at all this crap. Horse crap everywhere. Whoa, it's wild, it's wild. <laughs> wild stallions, holy cow. All right, so stalking a wild horse is much easier than a deer or an elk. Huh? I don't know, like 10 or 15 yards. I could hear it uh, pulling grass. That was cool, just a loner, he's all alone, or he or she, I don't know. But uh, we're in stallion country. We've been out here for quite a while. I'm getting my butt kicked. I have not found anything, but apparently they do nothing, exist out here. Nothing special. Check that out. A little bit brownie cool. right here. That's cool. Kyler here. cleaning house. Well, that turned out to be a long walk back to the truck with no sheds. He found some horns. horns are better than I didn't. Horns. It will be. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. It was nice just to get out and get the legs moving good old exercise get some sunshine oh yeah that was good exercise yeah look what i ran into you rooming next to us oh what no i uh i never come stay in hotels i'm the camp on the ground because i'm hardcore he's uh <laughs> he was gonna camp on the ground and said it was too cold so you're not as hardcore as you used to be ben you've changed yeah this shed here has really changed shed years y'all get into your head yeah all this money going in <laughs> Check out this room. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. Mount Rushmore of mountain goats over here. Like no. <laughs> They're that stallions. I bet that's hand carved. You guys get my grandma had this same carpet, dude, I swear. Oh boy. Make it rain really quick. <laughs> Make it rain. Cosmic brownies. Nothing helps you break in a new hotel room. Though. I saw more cosmic brownies at the expo than I've ever seen in my entire life. That's crazy, huh? Dang, there he goes. Well, somebody, somebody's screaming over there. Like, someone's giving it everything they had. Must have found something over here. Sweet, dude. Big old base on that sucker. No kidding. This spot's already turning out to be a lot better than the last one. <laughs> Let me tell you. Nice. Oh my man. gosh. A big dude, one. that thing is heavy. No kidding, that's killer. <laughs> <laughs> nice find, man. For sure, brother. Yeah. Heck yeah. Let's get it. Going. Finally on the board, man. When, you gotta break the ice. That's a good way to start it right there. Well, starting to feel pretty good about where I'm at. A lot of deer tracks. But man, this is probably the fourth time I've cut this wheeler track. I don't know why people think it's okay to A, break the law. Harass wildlife while doing it. Blows my mind. But some people, I guess they just do not care. And they'll do it no matter what, which is a shame. Don't be that guy that is 
beating the brush down on a four-wheeler. You know, the whole point is to get out and hike, get some exercise. Anyways, that's my rant. Okay, don't don't ride four-wheelers where it's not legal. Okay, bye. Oh, that's goofy. That is kind of weird. Other side. Right here. I didn't think much of this pile of rocks. You see piles like that on a lot of spots when you're out hiking. At least I do anyways. People will build them up on like a glassing point or a lookout point. I decided to take a picture thinking, well, someone's been here before me. Couldn't really figure out why someone would build it right here on this side hill. And I just about walked away and I was like, I wonder if they hid anything inside. Look down in there. I don't think you guys will be able to see that, but there's a glass bottle with the top on it. If you look down in here, you can see the note, or you can see the bottle. <clears throat> All right. Holy cow, what did I find? A treasure map? Right here for you guys. A little rock Put under the lens. wonder when the last time this was sealed. Guys, I've never seen anything like this before. Okay, so it's like an envelope, and inside the envelope, small note. Notice is hereby given that the undersigned, having complied with the requirements of section 2324 of the revised status of the United States and the local laws, customs, and regulation of this district, located 1,500 feet in length by 600 feet in width, vein or deposit bearing gold, silver, copper, lead, and other valuable miner minerals. Apparently there's valuables up here, gold, silver, and maybe I should stop shed hunting and start finding gold. <laughs> Still pretty wild. I'm just going to put it back where it was and leave it how it was when I got here. Pretty gnarly. This is like how they did it back then. If you wanted to claim something, you just, looks like you got some type of application. Print it out. That's pretty wild. <sighs> I wish it was a map of where the gold is. That would be even better. But I'm just gonna stick it back and leave it. Nothing else in there that I can see. There you go, Mr. Owen N. Your claim is still good. <laughs> Crazy. Yo, oh, that's freaking sweet. Kind of old. Let's see. That is sweet. All right, there's the totals. <laughs> not the best weekend, but definitely not the worst. <laughs> I think that, yeah, dude, I love that elk shed. That set is cool, and then that big three point to me is super cool. So these guys pulled all the weight. I found a big old goose egg. I found one, <laughs> I found one two point yesterday, and I got so mad I threw it out of rock and shattered it. <laughs> thanks for a good weekend, guys. Yeah, thanks for coming. Have well, to do it again. Sneaking up here at the Mountain Ops office to see who's here. We got plans to go shoot bows. What time is it? Really? It's lunchtime. No, 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 literally. What time is it? Oh, sorry. Hey, let's go shoot bows at 12. Oh, it's 12.30. I, I just got out of a here. meeting. I said come here at 12. Yeah. yeah. Chicken. Yeah. We're half hour back. Steak. Look at this. Expect, Eric. Look at this. Eric. Yay. Do you expect Look. anything less? Look no. What we got here. When you say 12, I'm always like, okay, that's like one or two. You always anticipate an hour later. Or just not. What were you guys doing to having meetings about in there? That was, <laughs> these guys had private meetings. Something's going on. So many things. What's so going on? All Chandra good things. Reason, Lots of events involved. this summer it's coming so up. Things. What? Mountain Ops events? Mountain Ops events, Toll Archer Challenge. I mean, rendezvous. Gosh, <laughs> hikes, workouts. It's going to be fun. 
Hopefully, Sean's wife doesn't divorce I'm gonna, him. I'm gonna do. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna lead all the uh, slow people. Uh, yeah. At every event, if you're slow, you go with me. You'll, you'll I'll be. be with, I'll be with Sean. <laughs> I don't run. I don't do. Cardi no. Do car, yeah, it's Cardi no. It's Cardi no. This guy. No. This guy's yeah. stepping up his cardio game. This oh, dude. dude, keto. Dude, you're here. down to like what? 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing 30 a day. Because you broke broke your me. broke your foot or your leg. Foot. Ankle. It's this fine. one. He broke yeah, his, that's the one. Broke his dude, I can't even tell. It looks good. Yeah, no. Those shoes hide it well. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna do some business meetings. Yeah, business meetings, business. lunch, and then go shoot bows. We finally made it to the Wild Arrow. Back again at our favorite place. Hold on. Come on, man. Oh, dude, sorry. You know I need my bow. Real sorry about that. This is what happens when you take Chad Mendez hunting. He's so strong, he breaks your handle. <laughs> he so now I gotta reach he in. He wrecks the place and he wrecks doors. He does, he's all about wrecking the place. So here we go, guys. I'm so excited to get oh, this together. We hold that new baby right here, Pro Defiant. Pro Defiant went with a black and lime green, electric green, and then all the accessories. Look at all the custom kit. Let's take them in. My favorite thing about coming here is seeing a smile on Jeremiah's face. <laughs> when we every walk, time we walk in. He's consistent. He's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll trust you on this that. Is business. This is business. This is Jeremiah. He's so businessy, he's so dude. Right he's got, look at he's got papers, pens. He's got papers. De so he's like a desk. Uh, pretty much has a desk that's job. Gonna be our that is going to be so sweet when it's all said and done. Guys, we're going to save the bow set up for another time. Well, we're actually going to film a how to set up a bow video. For now, Jordan and I are going to have a go. A little friendly competition. Yeah, I think we need to throw up that one. Both lefties, right? Yeah. We can make it happen. So I'm gonna go get my bow outside and we'll, we'll come back and do a now bring out, bring out do a little bow. competition shoot. We'll have a, we'll have a competition fun. of old bows. Yeah, last year's bow competition. Our little archery challenge, we're going lefties ununited because it's one on one, mano y mano. This is sudden death, but we this, haven't even done any matches up to this point yet. So we're just calling this one sudden death because this is it. So two shot group. I say one bear and one paper. So we talk in one bear yep, in the crease. In the crease. And then that little, little teeny tiny little dog. Teeny tiny paper. Yep. All right. And Eric, so two Eric. shot, two shot challenge right here. Yeah, and Eric would love to make that setup since we just shot that and he actually did hit the paper. So let's see <laughs> if he can replicate. I'll do it again, dude. Here Don't we go. you worry. Here we go. Bear in the crease. Okay, bear, shot one. And it's low. That is and really it's low. low. Holy cow. Man, I can shoot really good for IG story, but when it comes to the vlog, <laughs> it's a whole another ball game. All right, here we go, paper. A little tiny dot over in the bottom right of that. I can't even see where that went. Eric's up next, everybody. And guys, we just want to say like, <clears throat> we're having fun, so just, just know that don't take it too seriously. We're all about lefties united, okay? So we got to stick together. Lefties ununited is uh, only for a short moment. This, yeah, this is for a small moment in time. All right, up okay, first, bear. the bear. Eric's feeling very good about this. Dude. Closer to the target, but not a very good shot. It's a, yeah, but it's a better shot than mine. Yeah, it is. So, that's so we're one both, zero. we're both, yeah, he'll take that one. Oh, dude, dude I, I think you just, I think you just hit my arrow, dude. <laughs> Probably, yeah. That's probably the, one of the most difficult shots is this. You guys are going to see how just small this piece of paper is, but him and I are stacked. Man, <laughs> talk about close call. Dude, so if we're, yeah, so technically this one, I win. You win. Because You're I am touching, touching paper. paper. And the bear <laughs> shot. Eric has been money on this shot. I'm He's in the 10, ten ring. ring. So that's a, that's a good shot. So one to one? Yep, what one to one. So that means we got to do... Death? This is this is the real oh, one shot. This is the real sudden death. One shot. What's it gonna be on? Let's do something cool. Let's get a new animal. Okay, we're gonna get a new animal. We're gonna get a small bear. So we're going with little blue. Going for dead center, right? Yep, center center on little blue. It's just a little guy, man. That doesn't even seem right. Shoot that thing. I know this feels more. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like yeah. I feel like we're doing something we shouldn't be. Loaded up. Can he handle the pressure? One shot, sudden death. Dude. Uh, it's in the circle, but I'm it's high. It's in the circle, I'm but you're high. Block. I'm gonna go adjust that for, for Eric, though. Run. Oh, dude, I'll take that shot. 
Center, but high, huh? Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. Eric Chester, everybody. <laughs> Derek, Derek Chester. Dude, no, no, I think he got it. I think he got it. Oh. Sudden death victory of the game. No, dude, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I actually, and if I'm measuring, yeah, if you're measuring from the line, it's the same. Do you know what that means? That we have to shoot again. <laughs> yes. Sudden death round three. We're Sudden going. death round three is uh, through the bear. Hollow bear. Got to hit the yellow. Closest one to the yellow mark. All right, guys. Here we go. Who's going to win? Cast your votes. Jordan is. Cast, yeah. cast, cast your, your votes, votes in below. the description box below before you watch. Jordan or Eric? Thread in the bear. For me to hit the yellow, I have to pretty much aim at the bottom of the bear circle. Yep. That's what I've been doing. All right. Total focus. Super focus. Mountain Hops Ignite. Dude. Uh, I think it's just He's low threaded. Low. He's threaded, but it's 12 o'clock. Yeah, it's low, but it's through the bear. It's through, so he's through. I bet you don't even get through the bear. Oh, man, <laughs> Let the trash talk come. Dude, bring it on. This is like a cheerleading video, but with bows. And we're not that hot. <laughs> bring it on. Oh, it's high. It's high. We're going. Come on. Ooh. Oh, dude. dude. You cannot get any more. <laughs> dude, we're both threaded. You're closer. But I will take the win. Jordan for the win. So Jordan for about. the win. Mountain Ops versus the Hush Fly. <laughs> Lefties united, undivided for a moment. Still united, but I'll take the W. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. We are uh, getting ready to go on another adventure, heading back to my hometown, um, back in the Pacific Northwest to do some steelhead fishing with our good friends at Born and Raised Outdoors. So as you can see, I'm trying to get packed up here. Got a variety of uh, steelhead fishing tackle. I'm gonna take a couple of my reels. Sims waders, which are bulletproof if you've ever used waders. Kind of just a hodgepodge of stuff. Try to fit this hopper into that bag as well. And then got a bunch of camera gear. We're gonna be playing around with this new underwater housing, which is gonna go on this new camera that we'll have for Casey, which you guys ask us all the time, what cameras do you use? And the answer is, a bunch of different stuff, but this is the new G1X we're gonna use. It comes with the underwater housing. It should get some really awesome photos and video um, of the fish we're gonna catch. So, Cody Kellum, no pressure on you, my friend. We gotta catch fish so we can test out some of the new stuff. But the main vlog camera we use is a Canon G7X, kind of like our standard uh, handheld go-to camera. Some of you guys that follow us on Instagram and social media may know this, and if you don't, um, I'm gonna show you a cool podcast we did probably back in January when we were at SHOT Show with our buddy Randy Newberg. Randy's been a, a good friend of ours for a long time. He has a podcast called Hunt Talk Radio, Randy Newberg Unfiltered. He also has a YouTube channel. So if you go into his channel, we'll put the description in our video and you go to his playlist, Hunt Talk Radio. You'll find it here on his playlist. We are episode towards the bottom. I think it's 50. Yeah, by the way, I gotta put this up. People love that content. You know, Here we like, are. They knew what it was yeah. like being a kid. They have a kid that does that or, or whatever. And uh, yeah, vlogging thing. Go subscribe to his channel, listen to his stuff. He makes a bunch of great content. Big advocate for public lands um, and big Western hunter. And really good friend of ours. Speaking of public lands, have you guys seen these shirts? They're pretty awesome. Backcountry hunters and anglers have uh, partnered with Hush, and so 15 bucks from every single one of these BHA shirts is going to go directly back to them towards conservation. And these guys are out just hustling, trying to keep public lands and public waterways available and accessible for all of us average Joes that you know don't have a ton of money to go buy property. And so they're good dudes, but you can kind of see right there, got the Hush logo, and then. Keep it public on the front. 
They've been selling pretty good. We'll have more colors and variations coming out in the near future. So I'm gonna head to Eagle Eye. Got to go pick up some new hats. Made it to Eagle Eye promotion. Welcome to our store. Lots of stuff has been restocked since we got back from the expo. So many of the favorites. Obviously these ones were big seller. Got the First Light Fusion hats have been doing really well. A few of the uh, seven panels are still kicking around. We gotta order some more. Those are real popular at the show. Got the leather patch hats. Those did pretty well too. And then I'm actually checking out some new kind of concepts we're playing with. These are like hot off the press, but we're doing that fishing trip coming up. And so we've got some different uh, fish designs. We got to get cleaned up still, but we're playing around with some different stuff. That's like a steelhead concept that we got going on. And then we are working on some other trout fishing type uh, designs that should come out here this spring. Forgot about these solid ones too. These are all solid. Lots of the flat bills here. I know these are going to be getting reordered. Some of the uh, all blackout ones in the bent brim. I believe those are the B Mac. But anyways, we're going to get these uh, fish hats cleaned up, and then we fly out in the morning. So I think uh, we're going to try to do a semi live series from the fishing cabin we're staying at if the internet service is good enough. So we'll have to play that bay here. Mm -hmm. 